ONTV thanked its volunteers and handed out several awards during a banquet at Palazzo de Bacci. Lake Orion Community Schools partnered with law enforcement and local community groups during a safety summit at the high school. Orion Township celebrated Earth Day by planting trees and encouraging residents to do a little spring cleaning throughout the community. And the curtain goes up on Lake Orion High School's spring production this week. Coming up, we'll give you a sneak peek of High School Musical. Hello everyone, I'm Stacey Calloway. I'll have those stories and more on this edition of ON TV News. TV has been serving the Lake Orion community for 35 years and depends heavily on volunteer producers to create the programming you see on this channel. ONTV staff and board wanted to say thanks by inviting its members for a fun night out. On the evening of Friday, April 14th, ONTV hosted its volunteer appreciation banquet at Palazzo de Bacci on M24 in Orion Township. More than 60 volunteer producers, staff and board members enjoyed a buffet dinner and a few games of bocce. It was the first time the banquet was able to be held in person since 2019. Uh -oh. Oh! There's nothing like it having all the volunteers, our friends, uh, family um, back together again for the, our volunteer banquet. It's just wonderful. Usually it's a little more formal affair. This year we wanted to have something more fun, a little bit laid back. So that's why we're here at Palazzo de Bocci playing some bocce ball. And it allows uh, some of the new faces that came in uh, after the pandemic uh, went away. We had a lot of new faces come through classes, new volunteers, and now we're mingling with the old veterans. So uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm, I'm having a blast here uh, interacting and just having fun with the volunteers and our friends. The highlight of the evening was an award ceremony recognizing the most active volunteers and producers from 2022. Been, uh, Named Volunteers uh, of the Year were Steve and Dorenda Balanecki, who have helped out on concerts in the park, the uh, ONTV Food Drive, and other studio well, productions. Drive, Total surprise. Total surprise. <laughs> Total but surprise. we're so excited. Yeah. We just love working at the station. It's, it's, we call it, we have to go to work, and we love it. <laughs> exactly. We don't schedule anything else. We, Make sure that we've got plenty of time to get over to the station and we just, get everything. Yeah. Make sure everything's ready and everybody has go. just made us feel like family, and we just really love being there. So exactly. it was a, it was a wonderful surprise. We're yes. really thrilled. Named producer of the year was Badri Rao, who talks to professors from around the world on his show Ideas and Insights. I was surprised pleasantly, and I'm I'm overwhelmed because uh, ever since I. I contacted Ian. My experience with ONTV has been uniformly pleasant and extremely instructive and beneficial. So I'm very, very grateful to be part of the ONTV family. I have had a wonderful time since I got to know you folks. I was very thrilled. I really was. The podcast of the year award went to Tracy Woodrum, who invites guests to talk about real estate issues and community news on her series, Tea with Tracy. I was completely surprised. Oh, it was so, I feel so honored. I love ONTV and I love coming and seeing everybody um, when I come in to do my show. And this is really special for me, so thank you. And receiving the Spirit of Public Access Award were the Oakland County Scouts, responsible for producing the series Scouting on Air. The group writes, shoots, and edits the show, which is now in its second season. It was a very emotional moment, uh, very meaningful for, for me certainly and definitely for the, uh, for the scouts in attendance. Kind of took us back and put, put that whole first season in, in the context and how far we've come. To, to call it an incredible opportunity doesn't, doesn't really do it justice. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's an unparalleled experience for the young people. Without the volunteers, what would Orient Neighborhood Television be? I mean, we're community television, right? And without the community, we wouldn't have a facility. So, you know, it's easy to hand out the awards to these guys. Uh, it's a lot of fun. 
Um, I, the looks on the faces of some of them were very, very surprised that they took home some of the hardware. And I think that's part of the fun for the staff, you know, surprising the volunteers who worked so hard over the course of the last year to, to produce great programming and really help us out. So it's a lot of fun. If you're interested in getting involved with Owen TV, classes are filling up right now. Call 248-393-1060 or visit orionontv.org for more information. In the wake of multiple school shootings over the past few years, including the tragic incident at Oxford High School, Lake Orion Community Schools wants to reassure parents that they're doing everything they can to keep your children safe. On the evening of Monday, April 17th, Lake Orion Community Schools hosted its first safety summit in the Performing Arts Center of Lake Orion High School. The public was invited to meet with numerous community groups offering information in the lobby, including North Oakland Community Coalition and Orion Area Youth Assistance. Well, we're really thankful that everybody was uh, able to be here tonight and the excitement around coming and, and being supportive of our students was uh, really contagious and there's been a lot of planning that has gone into this and as you can see there's a number of, again, a number of community resources that are here to support uh, students and our school system and so just many thanks not only for, for tonight but a lot of the work that we've done around the uh, preventative strategies and the physical uh, plants of our schools was really made possible by the, the bond in two, that November of 2018 and so that work will continue because of the support of the community. At 7 p.m., school staff and local law enforcement gave a presentation on the ways the district is trying to make all of Lake Orion schools safer. So at 7, we'll actually have a formal presentation. Uh, we, we're going to have a couple segments uh, on uh, prevention and then one on response. Um, I basically will MC and kind of work us through the event. Uh, but again, we're talking about the things that we are doing and, uh, you know, to support kids as well as the uh, different strategies to keep, keep students safe. Um, and then we'll get into the response part of it if there ever is, you know, call for uh, emergency responders. If you missed the safety summit or would like more information, the slides from the presentation are available to view at lakeorianschools.org slash safety. Started as a movement by Wisconsin Senator Gaylord Nelson, the first Earth Day took place in 1970 and prompted the creation of the Environmental Protection Agency. Laws such as the Clean Air Act and Clean Water Act soon followed. In 1990, Earth Day went global. This year, Earth Day fell on Saturday, April 22nd, and Orion Township led an effort to beautify the community. On the evening of Friday, April 21st, Orion Township Parks and Rec set up home base at Camp Agawam and launched the seventh annual Orion Green Up. Volunteers were assigned cleanup locations and were given garbage bags and a commemorative shirt. So we've heard over the years that uh, people they really want an opportunity to do cleanup throughout the weekends or throughout a week. So this year we decided to bring it to uh, have it on Friday night, more of a social gathering. We'll do our tree planting for uh, Tree City, Arbor Day. Um, we'll have a little bit of food, we'll have a bonfire, play some games, grab your uh, assignments, a shirt, everything, and we'll just kind of hang out for a little while. And then this weekend, as you can tell, it's it's April, it's second winter in Michigan, so um, Sunday might be a little nicer for people to go out and then throughout the next week, so change it up a little bit. We heard people's concerns and they still want to help. It's amazing. So, In addition to food and games, those in attendance were invited to take part in a tree planting ceremony at Camp Agawa. This is uh, mycorrhizae. It basically acts as an extension of the tree's roots. It's a symbiotic relationship. The tree provides sugars to the fungus, and the fungus then in turn provides nutrients and water to the, to the root system of the tree itself. Our community is just amazing. They value recreation and green space, and they, they really support our community. So the faces every single year, they just, you know, they're go-getters. They love it, and they spread the word. And then, you know, we have, like, Elizabeth behind us who lives in the community. She... Uh, volunteers on our Parks and Path Committee, and then she brings out her family to get involved in these things. Really starting them young, uh, instilling the values of service to your community, civic duty, and taking care of your community. It's wonderful. I love it in Orion. With the arrival of spring, Orion Township Parks and Rec has a full slate of events on the calendar. The Made in the Mitten Mother's Day Market is scheduled for Saturday, May 6th. 
The Dragon Dash 5K will take place on Sunday, May 21st, beginning at 9 a.m. And the Community Outdoor Garage Sale is slated for Saturday, June 3rd. All events take place at the Orion Center. For more information, visit orionparks.com. The curtain goes up on the high school's spring production of High School Musical on April 27th. ONTV's Joe Johnson had a chance to visit the ensemble during rehearsals and gives us the sneak peek. Things are ramping up over at Lake Orion High School's Performing Arts Center as Thespian Troupe 2898 is knee-deep in rehearsals for Disney's High School Musical. The production was selected in February and director Elizabeth Morton described her reaction to the level of talent that came out to audition. Oh, I was blown away. <laughs> I did not know what to expect. Um, I've dealt with children. I've done Peanut Gallery Players before through Meadowbrook Theater, um, and I was absolutely blown away by the talent. And I think if you come out and see the show, you'll be blown away too. <laughs> High School Musical premiered on the Disney Channel in 2006 and starred Zac Efron, Vanessa Hutchins, and Ashley Tisdale. The Romeo and Juliet inspired story tells the tale of basketball team captain Troy Bolton and transfer student Gabriela Montes who try out for the school musical as rival Sharpay Evans tries to thwart their efforts. I have not watched the original since the production has begun, um, but I have seen it plenty of times mm -hmm. prior, um, but I don't want to try and over influence things, but I do find myself recalling things that happen specifically in the movie during rehearsals or when I'm saying lines. So it kind of just comes with it. I was super excited. We haven't done a Disney show in a while and we definitely were all looking forward to it for publicity reasons. And personally, I just love Disney. I love High School Musical. Growing up, it was definitely a favorite. So when I saw my name is Gabriella, it was definitely like a little girl's dream come true and it was a, it was a very happy moment. Um, the audition process was really fun. They made it very um, enjoyable and just kind of carefree. And when I saw the cast list, I was elated because I was so happy to get the role of Sharpay. Um, that's what I was hoping for. Um, yes, I have seen performances of it, and I do incorporate some of it into my performance just because Sharpay is a very different person than I am myself. But um, I also do like to put my own little spin on it just because I'm also like a different Sharpay than the one in the movie or in the musical. High School Musical is the first large ensemble production to be performed at the high school since COVID shut things down in 2020. Everyone involved is excited about the production and encourages the community to come see it at the end of April. We have a smashing creative team. Uh, we are boasting a three-story set right now, a usable three-story set, uh, designed by Chris O'Meara, who actually I went to college with, so it's been kind of fun to create with him again. Um, we definitely pride ourselves in New York style and New York level um, expectations. The students have been very hard at work doing character development. And that's what's so great about High School Musical is that it is a true ensemble show. It's a lot of group numbers, um, especially because we're doing the one act version. So there's no intermission. So they kind of cut out all the fluff in it and kind of just went to the big numbers and the big moments. I would encourage people to come see the show because there's nothing to be afraid of. Most people know the story. They've seen it before. It's fun. It's going to be just a big party the entire time. It's a story that if you don't know it, it's easy to follow. There's no crazy twists or turns and it, you're going to be smiling at the end. You're going to want to sing along, clap along with the songs. It's just a feel good. You get some good music, you get dancing, and it's a great way to spend um, either a Thursday, Friday, or Saturday night. You can expect opening night to come in and have just a lot of fun. Obviously, like you said, there's a lot of people on that stage. They're going to try to get you excited about it. It's a Disney show. It's going to bring back some nostalgia. It's going to bring back some memories. And it's definitely something that I think everybody should come see and have a good time. I would say come out and see it, obviously, to support our theater troupe, but also because we've put so much work into it, and it's just coming to be a wonderful show, and our set is like the best set that I've seen in our four years, and it's just, it's a really fun time, and it's like a lot of people know the music already, so it's like you can sing along, and it's just, it's a really fun time. Yeah, it's going to be great. Definitely a family show, like if you want to come with your family or by yourself. It's definitely just a way to spend your night and just have some fun and just have some entertainment if you're looking for something else that you don't really see every day. The curtain goes up on High School Musical on Thursday, April 27th at 7 p.m. There are also performances on Friday, April 28th and Saturday, April 29th. To purchase tickets, visit payschoolevents.com. 
at Lake Orion High School. This is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News. Like ONTV, the library depends heavily on volunteers to ensure patrons have a pleasant visit. Recently, the library expressed their gratitude with a fun event. On the afternoon of Thursday, April 20th, the Orient Township Public Library hosted a luncheon in their meeting room to say thank you to the volunteers that helped make the library run smoothly. Uh, they help with youth programs. They also help with cleaning materials. A lot of the volunteer groups that we have here today come once or twice a week and they clean a certain collection and go on to the next. They organize materials, put things in order. They're really great at that. Approximately 80 people enjoyed a buffet lunch complete with dessert and live entertainment from vocalist Kevin Wills. It was the first time since 2019 the library has been able to host the event due to the COVID pandemic. The library partners with several community organizations who provide volunteers with special needs. One connection we have a partnership with is the FACES group through Lake Orion Community Schools. It's the 19 to 26 year old group. Um, so they're located at the Pine Tree Center and they come twice a week to volunteer. Also New Horizons is another group that we use. Well, the library staff really appreciates all the little help that we get. People think that we can do all of this, but we can't. And so our volunteers give us that access to do more things for our public and the community. But there are also, it makes them feel good, like they're part of the community when they volunteer and become a part of something. The event recognized the adults who volunteer their time at the library. Another event will be scheduled in the summer to recognize teen volunteers. If you would like to volunteer your time at the library, you can contact Lori Morris at lmorris at orionlibrary.org or you can call 248-693-3000, extension 435. Being a member of the Chamber of Commerce comes with plenty of perks, especially for new businesses who want to announce their doors are open to the public. On the afternoon of Thursday, April 7th, representatives of the Chamber of Commerce and other dignitaries gathered at Beyond Mindful Counseling and Wellness on Clarkstone Road near M24 to help them celebrate their official grand opening with a ribbon cutting ceremony. really great I was really surprised I, I they kept handing those certificates and I was like oh my god I, I didn't expect all that so it's been really nice um, I think we live in a great community and there's a lot of community support here Lake Orion resident Rochelle Campbell started out as a teacher before opening her own private practice unfortunately her grand opening took place in March of 2020 just as the COVID pandemic was getting underway Today, her business is thriving as she and her staff offer counseling and treatment to heal the mind, body, and spirit. We, we believe that to heal, you need to have all aspects, the mind, body, spirit, um, kind of in, I guess, flow with each other. So um, that's, that's what our focus is here. Um, I do the mental health part. I also am an energy healer. Um, I do a modality called the body code. Um, and so, yeah, I've encompassed some other people um, that have kind of collaborated with me um, to, to offer all the different types of healings for mind, body, and spirit. Whether you're experiencing mental health challenges or physical ailments, Campbell encourages you to reach out and set up a consultation to determine the correct course of action. Most people come to me um, when they are having some, you know, depression, anxiety, things like that, which has been huge since COVID. Um, but yes, physical pain, you know, one of our yoga therapists works specifically with, with people with um, physical pain. A lot of times physical pain is caused from emotions and things that we hold into our, in our, in our body. So, um, yeah, I mean, health, just want to feel better and healthy. We have a registered dietitian that is a holistic nutritionist as well. We have an herbalist. Um, they help people do more like, um, I guess, instead of like pharmaceuticals, they'll also help you find natural remedies to, to heal. For more information, you can call 248-978-5625 or visit beyondmindfulcounselingandwellness.com. You can also find them on Facebook. And finally, Easter has come and gone, but we wanted to take a look back at a fun event that brought families out to downtown Lake Orion. 
On Saturday, April 8th, hundreds of children and their parents arrived at Children's Park for the American Legion's annual Easter egg hunt. Fifteen hundred plastic eggs were scattered throughout the park, which were scooped up in about 90 seconds. Attendees were then invited to enjoy a pizza party at Post 233, located right across the street from Children's Park. This is amazing. We have been doing this for I don't know how many years, and it grows and grows, and it's wonderful for the community. And the American Legion just loves to have you folks. Please, just it's just wonderful. We, we're, I'm, I'm excited about. It. Look at all this. This is just cool. I'm telling you. But uh, that's what we're all about over across the street at the Legion, and people are welcome to stop in for a minute or say you know, and and see what we have going on in our corner of the world. The American Legion Post 233 has been serving Lake Orion for more than 100 years. And we're told the land now occupied by Children's Park was donated by the Legion in 1955. In addition to serving the community, they mainly support those who have served their country and are always on the lookout for new members. Well, we take care of our veterans, if you will. We're, we're up on top of our veterans, and when people have problems, we, we accept them in and we try and... It's just like when the, when the place burned down. Remember when it burned? We got these people, a lot of folks took care of it, but we gave them lots of money. We bought them clothing, because there were, there were some veterans in there. But going to the veterans and the other folks that were in there, we got them a place to live. We got, so that's what we do as, as a veterans organization. That's why we put the uniform on, so we could have things like this. So that's what we do, and we're, we're really, really a good part of the community. We're not just the kids down the street. Now we have people coming in, and we have, we have 19 new members in the last month or so. So, and that's really, really good. People come in, and they go, wow, we didn't know you were here. But we're here, and we're here for you. If you know a veteran that is in need, that is right over there, where you're welcome to come in. For more information, you can call 248-693-2782 or visit orionlegion.org. You can also find them on Facebook. And with that, we'll wrap up this edition of ONTV News. On behalf of the hardworking ONTV News team, I'm Stacey Calloway. Thanks for watching.